Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a super exciting video today because in today's video, I'm going to be setting up my new cash envelope system. So I have my new binders here, my new envelopes, and um, my old stuff right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into this video. I also have um, like a little bin full of other items that I want to add. Um, so I'm super excited for this video. This was a long time coming. I've been wanting new envelopes for so long and new binders for so long. And I finally have like most of my setup. So I do wanna explain that the three binders I have here, um, I have two more that I want to order. One of them is on the way and the other one is out of stock. And I reached out to the seller and I'm just waiting for a response, but I figured I could just um, set up my new envelopes and binders now so that I can start using everything because they've just been sitting and I've been getting really like antsy and just wanting to um, use my new cash envelopes and my binders. So I'm just gonna work with what I have and when I get the other two binders, then um, I will remove the envelopes from these binders and put them in those binders. So I'll explain it when I'm kind of sorting through my categories. So I was gonna have a total of five binders. I was gonna have this one right here, a bills binder, my savings binder, low priority sinking funds, high priority sinking funds, and then my personal binder. Um, so since I don't have those last two, I'm just gonna kind of combine these. And um, I'm gonna start with my bills binder because that's like my first one. So for my bills binder, I got a Moterm because of all the pockets. Um, I figured I could put like important stuff relating to my bills in here, just so it's all in one place and I can keep track of it easily. So, um, and I will have every single thing I use in my video linked down below in the description box in case you wanna purchase some of the same things. Um, so this is a Moterm. I got it off of Amazon. This one is the personal size. It's not the A6, which can be kind of confusing to some people, especially people who are new to cash budgeting, um, because like these envelopes are like A6, but they're personal size. So the difference, I think, is the spacing right here in between the um, hole punches. So this is a two inch spacing right here with for these envelopes, which are from the Aesthetic Dollar. And the spacing right here is um, two inches. So if you go to Amazon and find the A6 Moterm, the spacing is one and a half inches. And so that's why I got this personal size, which is two inches. Um, so I hope that clears up any confusion if that's something you're worried about because that is definitely something that I had to look into and kind of research when ordering my stuff. So yeah, I can get a little confusing with the sizing. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to put my um, bills envelopes in here and then move the cash over from my old binder into my new envelopes. Okay, so... I have, these are kind of sorted, um, but I'm not sure. So like all of these ones in the cursive font, we're going to go to my personal binder, which I don't have right now. So I'm going to have to put it in one of these two, which is fine. Um, but they're the only ones I have in this like cursive font. So I'm going to set those aside. Medical, Christmas, these are not my bills. So I'm just going to sort through here really quickly and... Um, just pick out what I want to put in this binder. So in this binder, this was gonna be my bills. I'm also gonna put my savings envelopes in here as well. So when I get my other binder, the savings envelopes will be going into that one so I can kind of separate the two. And I will explain that, um, you know, as I get going with this video. All right, so I have all of the envelopes that I'm going to be putting into my Moterm right here. So, and I should have, I could have um, sorted them out beforehand, but I kind of just wanted to do it on camera. So now I'm gonna put them in the order that I want them in, which is probably most likely gonna be the order that they're in this binder because I'm just used to that. So 
I have car insurance, internet, utilities, phone, which I'm not sure if I'm exactly going to use yet, but I thought I would um, have that envelope, subscriptions, annual expenses, credit card, student loans, which I don't have yet, but I will, car payment, rent. Now, I don't know if I want to put miscellaneous in my bills binder. I was going to use this envelope for things that I forget to budget for, so I'm not exactly sure where it should go. I think I might put it in my bills binder first and see how it kind of goes with my system and the flow of everything and I can always move it around. Um, so those are my bills. Now we have savings, month ahead, taxes, and over budget, which is um, money saved for like, if I go over budget on like, another envelope like gifts then i will pull out money from over budget so i think what the head i don't know if i should put taxes first i don't really use these two i haven't been stuffing them but i should okay i think i'm gonna do it in that order okay so we have rent car payment hope you guys am I in frame I hope so car insurance internet so my next cash stuffing will be with my new setup and my new envelope so I'm very very excited about that and I know some of you guys have been asking about this and are super excited as well so I'm super excited to finally have this all set up and everything And honestly, I may not need a separate savings binder because the rings in this Motrim are like super big. They're 30 millimeters, I think, or maybe 25, um, but they're bigger than this binder. This one is also 30, so that's good. Um, but that's another reason why I wanted a Motrim for my bills binder because I was thinking if I had to combine my savings envelopes in here, there would be room. So I love that. Um, so all of my envelopes are in. I think that just looks super pretty. I can't wait to put the money in there. But since I have my savings in here, I'm also going to pull out my... I don't have many savings challenges, um, but I do have some envelopes. So these are from Plain Chic Designs Plus. And um, I have... Oops, not been stuff over. I have a $5 challenge, $1 challenge, and $10 challenge. So any rollover from my wallet are going to go in um, these envelopes. And I don't have trackers for these. I don't know if I will get trackers for them. I think I might just save the money and just count it as I go. because I don't know how much I'm actually gonna accumulate in these envelopes because I don't have rollover often and when I do, it's not that much. So I have those zipper envelopes right there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna look in here and see if there's anything else that I wanna put in here for right now. I have like some, I have this $500 savings challenge from the aesthetic dollar and I do have a blank envelope I also have some teller slips oh and I want to do this too this is uh, the compulsive saver savings challenge from the aesthetic dollar I'm gonna do that maybe this one I have placeholders in here and here I have some blank envelopes so I think that's what I'm gonna put these um, savings challenges in. I only have two, which is fine. I could order some more off of Amazon. You can get them cheap off of Amazon. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So that's going to go in the back and I haven't ever done a savings challenge. So I'm super excited for this. Um, I'm going to have, since these envelopes aren't rotated, like 
they're not the zippers are all on one side i'm gonna have these on the other side and i'm gonna do this one like that too okay i mean i would have them alternating so this one will go over here but i already have three right there so i don't know we'll see okay so And this one, you can um, do your own, like however much you want it to be. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna leave it blank and just stick it in here for now and start that when I can. And then this one is mini. It's a smaller one. That's okay though. So that's gonna go in there. So I think that is it for my setup for this. So now I'm gonna start um, putting the cash in here and I apologize if this video is super long, but I wanna just take my time and have fun with this. Okay, so there's nothing in rent. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have to bend these back so far. I think I've been kind of aggressive with it, but they'll lift up like this if I don't. So, um, but anyways, they've been like ripping right here. So that's also another reason why I needed to get new binders. And I just wanted to get some prettier ones and ones that would um, last longer. Nothing in rent. Okay, car payment. Um, I do, okay. I paid my, this is a full payment, but it's not due until like two weeks from now. So I'm, I don't know, I have to check on that. Okay, anyways. So I might need to do a condensing because I don't want a lot of cash in here um, because these envelopes are like a little bit more delicate. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, next is car insurance. Okay, just double checking. I haven't touched my cash envelopes in a long time it feels like almost two weeks ago when I did my last cash stuffing so it's like I don't know how much cash is in here next is internet oh my gosh I'm so excited this makes me so happy I've been waiting so long for my new envelopes and my new setup. So miscellaneous was my utility envelope because um, I didn't have a utility envelope for this. So that has nothing. So I'm gonna skip that. I didn't have a phone envelope. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a little bit here about what I'm gonna do. Subscriptions and annual expenses was combined in my subscriptions envelope because I didn't think to have an annual expenses one when I made my subscriptions envelope. So subscriptions is gonna be like I keep Spotify in my account, but it would be for like Spotify. Um, we pay monthly for the car wash here. So that would be subscriptions. Annual expenses is obviously one time a year. Um, so the annual expenses, I need $30. And then, so I've always had $30 in subscriptions for this. And then the rest is going to go in uh, subscriptions. How much do I have? 10, 15, 20, 21. Okay. It's kind of an odd number. But I'm going to have to get used to how to like use these envelopes and put cash in and everything because I'm so used to my zipper ones. These ones, I just don't want them to break and I want to be so careful. Okay. Annual expenses credit card I didn't have an envelope here for that or that or that okay month ahead oh where's my emergency envelope um I might have skipped it I have to look for that because that also over budget has nothing emergency so where is emergency
I know I have it because I looked through these envelopes. Oh, there it is. Okay. Almost got a little worried there. Savings. And then I'll put emergency here. So savings, this is the one I might need to condense because there's a lot of cash here, like a lot of bills and I don't want my envelopes to break. So I'm gonna have to do a condensing very soon. Oh my gosh, I need to break these envelopes in. It's gonna take a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's like really thick. I need to condense that as soon as possible. All right, and then taxes. I just don't know how rough I can be. I mean, not rough, but like, I don't know how rough I can be with these envelopes yet, so try and be careful. And then I have um, this envelope full of receipts. And these are for my taxes. So I was going to put them in an envelope, like a clear zipper envelope like this in the back, but I might just put it in the pot. No, I think I'm going to take the clear envelope it was in and put it in there. Okay, so that is it for this binder and those envelopes. I'm going to put this way back here. Oh my gosh, she's thick, you guys. Yay. I'm so excited. I do need to do a condensing though, so. Yeah, but oh my gosh. Okay, so that is my Bills Binder. Super, super excited for that. Okay. Next, I'm going to do... Um... Let's see, this is gonna be low priority sinking funds. And then this will be high priority. And then I'll put my personal envelopes in low priority. So for these, I have uh, my personal envelopes. So we have clothing, planning, books, hair, Logan, nails and spending and then low priority so i'm gonna just separate these holidays that'll be high priority black friday will be high priority house medical christmas wedding pet emergency school future new car okay these are high priority this is what i'm going to be putting in this binder So I have divided those up. So now I just need to put them in the order that I want them. So pet care, date night, gifts will go in the back, long day. Aya is Logan's envelope for me. Household groceries and Logan's spending. Okay. So gifts. Long day, Aya, date night, Logan, pet care, household, and groceries. All right, so super cute. Oh my goodness. Groceries is um, for the like other half of the money in my wallet for groceries because I don't want to carry $250 in my wallet. So I'll put the rest in here until I need to use it. So that's not going to get any money because I don't have anything for that. Okay, my spending, which is, so my me envelope 
is now the spending envelope. It has nothing in it. So none of these, I guess it's kind of like for all of these. None of these except for Hair and Logan are going to get stuffed. Um, Logan's spending does not have anything. Household. And then date night. Okay, so I think I need to go back to my bills binder because our home envelope, um, this money is for our washer and dryer payment. Um, we got our washer and dryer from Best Buy with a credit card. So I have a credit card envelope and I'm going to put that in here, which this needs condensed. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do that. Maybe I could film another bill exchange. Oh my gosh, guys. See, I don't even know how to put this money in here because I don't want to like rip the envelope and there's just so many bills. That is way too much. I'm going to keep that out and like condense this like later today. So I'm just going to stick that in here for now. Yeah, I think I definitely should have condensed before doing this video, but I just honestly didn't think about it, which is fine. Okay. Oh, hair is getting stuffed. I mean, not stuffed, but I have money in there. So hair... You guys are going to have to bear with me while I try to break in these envelopes and figure out, like, the quickest way to put money in there. Because this is, like, new to me. Okay. Babe is my envelope for Logan for, like, birthday gifts and Christmas and stuff. So, I just named it Logan and I put it in the cursive script because it's part of my personal binder. Or it's going to be. Um... So yeah, there are two envelopes with his name on it, but I know the cursive one is mine. And then the regular font, this is his envelope for his spending money. So this is this envelope. Okay, Milo's envelope is renamed and it's pet care. So I have pet care and also a pet emergency over here. So I'm gonna divide up this money because some of it, like I don't need all of this for pet care, which is like litter and food and stuff like that, toys. And the pet emergency is obviously for emergencies. So I've been saving up for both in just this one envelope because I didn't have two envelopes. So when I get to pet emergency, I'm gonna take out of here and just put some money in there. Um, rainy day, I know this isn't, no, I'll just keep it until I get to it. Gifts. Guys, this is so nice. I love these envelopes and these binders. It just looks so much better and I'm so excited to use them. Okay, so that is that. And that is it for this, except for rainy day, which I will put in here when I get to that. So I'll leave that off to the side so I don't forget. So that is this binder. So cute. Okay. Next, we're gonna do high priority sinking funds in this binder. And this one is kind of stiff, which is okay. I'll just lean it up like that. All right, so time to organize these. We have car maintenance, car registration, rainy day, the beach, travel, home, new car. These are kind of already in the order I want, except for school. So school, 
I might move around. All right, pet emergency, wedding, Christmas. Then I have medical. Okay, so home, I have home and house. So household, I also have two. That's for like toilet paper, paper towels. House is for like moving out, getting a house, home renovation, stuff like that. Home is like to make things to make our house homey, decorations. If I want to get like a throw blanket or something. So this might go in this binder. I'll put house here. Black Friday. Hmm, I don't really know where to put Black Friday. Maybe before Christmas, but that's towards the front and I don't see myself, I mean, Black Friday is one day a year. So I don't want it in the front necessarily. So I'll put it before house and then holidays. Could maybe go before Christmas or no, after school, okay. So I'm gonna put, no. Okay, let me do this binder first. Oh wait, I put the beach before travel. I don't want that. I want travel, then the beach. Wedding, Black Friday. Okay. Here we go. Let's stuff these. So, yeah, this one is like super ripped. Okay. This might get annoying because it's not like broken in yet. Okay, car maintenance. So I have these like different money in here separated with an index card. So this is car maintenance and then behind the index card is the money that we have to pay back our tires because we needed to get two new tires. So let me think about what envelope I want to put in or what, um, yeah, what envelope I want to put that money in because I did think, I think I had a plan for that but I can't remember yet what it is. I just want to get through these first registration all right here's pet emergency so I'm gonna go into this binder where I had my pet care envelope and just decide how much I want to put in there so I just got him new food and litter so he should be good for pet care but I think I still want a little bit in there so let me count how much I have total. 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I have 140. So I think I'm going to put $30 in pet care just to have in there. So I don't have to um, stuff as much in my next cash stuffing. And then I'll put 50 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 110 in his emergency envelope. Okay. Oh, and I want to put home in here too. In here. So, household, pet care, Logan spending. gonna put that there okay all right moving back to this binder Christmas has nothing health has been renamed medical I don't know why I just did that so this is going in there house. I know this is confusing, but 
no yeah that is how i thought this was supposed to be for home but no this is actually house because sometimes i had to like combine the envelopes because i just didn't have enough of my like current envelopes so oh my gosh this binder needs to like flatten out i don't know how to get it like that maybe it's always going to be like this i don't know i hope you guys can see it though that's my problem so I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Wedding. And then school. Sorry if you guys hear any noise. The people upstairs are being super loud. There's like slamming the doors. Okay, so all I have left is, oh, I didn't even do the beach or vacation. So vacation I have renamed travel okay so all I have left is the money in here for our tires and then I have rainy day which rainy day only has like three dollars which is fine rainy day Okay, so for the tires, okay, I think I'm done with this binder. Um, Maybe I'll put it in miscellaneous for right now because it is like a bill. So yeah, I'll put it in miscellaneous. And then once this is like paid off, then I could use miscellaneous for things I forget to budget for, which honestly isn't really that important to me right now. So it's okay that this money is in here. I just don't have anywhere else to put it. So that works. That's what I'm gonna do. So. Okay, just making sure these are all empty. And they are. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so that is it for my setup video. I definitely need to do a condensing video, um, but here are my new envelopes and my new binders. I'm super excited to, I need to figure that out. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited to, um, use this oh my gosh i'm so excited so if you guys enjoyed watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video